Alright ladies, welcome to your 13th, actually let me jot that down on my little handy notebook, 13th tutorial, got that. So as promised, like I said, we're done with this class, so go ahead and create a new file and go ahead and save this as, make sure I don't have it already, alright, chat.php. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to begin building what I want to say it's the main PHP file. Now, I hesitate when I say that because, of course, there isn't like one main file. You need all of these files for your program to work. But in my mind, in my heart, this is the most important PHP file because it kind of ties everything together. It's the one PHP file that you interact with first. And uh, like I said, in my mind, it's the most important one. So, this is just a class these are just the pieces to the puzzle now we have to put the puzzle together but before we do that we need the pieces so let's go ahead and require once of course that file that we just made chat dot class dot php now what we're doing is we're basically importing all of this crap into this file that was a lot easier than having to code all that again so boom that's what we did right there so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the different modes now this chat room is gonna do a lot of different things you're gonna be able to send messages you're gonna be able to delete messages you're gonna be able to you know read messages not only just send them but read them as well from other people so all of those different modes we're gonna keep track of in variable called mode so go ahead and set that equal to dollar sign money money cash money post mode so that's what that variable is going to be and we're going to be working with it a little bit later on so of course uh, whenever we pass it in um, a parameter from our form or a post value it's going to be stored in the variable mode so we can work with it in PHP now we need to cut a set a couple more variables of course ID we know what that it is the ID of pretty much what message we're working with and now the next thing we want to do is since we have this awesome class the chat class that we just created now this chat class is pretty cool it can delete messages post new messages get messages I mean everything you would want a chat room to do we already developed it in this class right here however we need to create an object so we can use the crap from that class so my object is just gonna be named chat and of course set it equal to new chat and now with that being said we can let me go ahead and save this we now have access to use anything inside this chat class because boom our object you know class you know that object oriented crap but anyways let's go ahead and get the good stuff right now now that we imported the class and we now have access to it through this chat object now the first thing we want to do is test what mode we're working on and by that I mean what do we want our chat room to do at this point do we want to read messages do we want to delete messages do we want to you know send messages well that's what we're gonna test and you do that by testing the mode like I said so if mode equals equals now the first mode I want to talk to you guys about is send and I E V E I think that's how you spell retrieve yeah let's see I before E except after C so boom roasted alright send and retrieve new so of course you guys can probably figure out what mode this is whenever you want to send and retrieve new messages there that's what you do so think about this whenever the user is typing in their chat room and they want to send a message what information do you need to get from the user before you send it off to the database well the first thing you want to get is the name of that user so you can identify basically who is sending that message so store that in a variable called name and we can actually just copy this and the uh, f or the field name from the form is just gonna be called name now there's gonna be a bunch of different uh, fields so the second one is the message itself like hi Johnny wanna go out and get pizza or um 
no thanks, Sally. I'm going steady with Roxanna. I don't know. Like, the message content itself is going to be stored in the parameter message. 